So here is step one of the template for the Luminarch. Um, it's about 23 by 23 inches, or 23 and a half by 23 and a half, from this left part to the right part here. So that's going to be just perfect for my aluminum. Um, I messed up. Uh, it doesn't line up if you look kind of closely. It doesn't line up right, and the paper is kind of jaggy. So I went ahead and reprinted it in black to make it easier to cut. Um, you can do this, you can take this out to a coffee shop and uh, just blow, have it blown up. Um, I made mine from the original, I think it was 252, I'll correct myself, or actually it was 262 is what I ended up doing, 262% blown up. Um, and so I'm going to take this template now and put it onto the aluminum that I have a bunch of weights and stuff on currently to flatten it out and then we'll start the cutting. So here's the outline that I went ahead and made um, with that stencil um, and the other little flaps which I don't know where I put those. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this out just so it's easier to work with because it's kind of lanky and big. But the other flaps are going to go here, here and you know respectively. Um, on that portion of metal. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and grab the tin snips, cut those out, and um, then I'll get to the folding part. Here is everything cut out. Um, as you may be able to see, there are some tiny bit, tiny jagged edges. Um, again, this is the reflective side is down, so this is actually isn't the really reflective side. Um, but I wasn't too worried about the jagged edges. Um, I might flatten them out in just a second with um, a uh, piece of pliers and you know, paper. Uh, just fold some paper over it and press down so that it's you know a nice flat piece of metal. Um, this is going to be the back, uh, which which side doesn't need to be pretty. Um, so that that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bend the metal and then start making the holes for the rivets. So I just wanted to show the bending process here. And uh, this one got a little bit messed up because I wasn't using my head. Uh, but anyway, basically what I did to bend it, this was really easy to bend. I just took a straight edge. Um, mine, it's a metal yardstick and I just kind of put it where I needed the bend and then I bent it and then for these bends um, I just put the you know the piece lined it up real nice this is just a shelf from one of my bookshelves I uh, lined it up real nice put both of my knees on either side um, and bent it there is a bending a bender tool that you can buy um, I basically totally forgot to, to grab one. I'm sure they're not expensive, but I decided to give this a try and it looks like it's working just fine. Here is finished product number one. Um, basically all done. Uh, there's a, I have a choice of like bending this back. I'm probably not going to because my measurements weren't super crazy exact and I kind of forgot to bend it so it's going to be a pain to do it now. Um, it still has the blue uh, tapey stuff on it, so if you want to look, that's how nice and pretty it looks without the tape. Um, but I'm going to leave the tape for now because, uh, hey, it's not going right on the tank, obviously, since the tank isn't complete. And B, uh, I still need to drill a hole somewhere like right here or, you know, on one of these uh, flat panel pieces. Um, to mount the module, which I'm, I might throw that on the end of this uh, video series.